EG Innovations is dedicated to helping businesses across the globe transform IT service delivery into a competitive advantage and a center for productivity, growth, and profit. Many of the world's largest businesses use EG Enterprise Universal Insight technology to enhance IT service performance, increase operational efficiency, and ensure IT effectiveness. EG Enterprise is a 100% web-based performance management solution. As long as you have an internet connection, you will have Universal Insight into your infrastructure and can take action at any time from anywhere on any device. Personalized login views can be created for administrators depending on their roles and responsibilities such as help desk, Citrix admin, VMware admin, ops manager, solution architect, and so on. Now for the purposes of this demo, I've logged in as an IT administrator responsible for monitoring the Citrix services. To the right, you can view all the components and the Citrix service tiers. Now those include the Citrix storefront, license servers, in-app servers, provisioning servers, Netscaler devices, and more. Using the same interface, you can monitor the other supporting infrastructure tiers, including databases, network devices, storage platforms, and the virtualization tier. The color codes that we use are very familiar. Green means things are working well, yellow and orange indicate different levels of severity, and red indicates that there is a critical issue that requires immediate attention. Now with EG Enterprise you can monitor all kinds of performance issues from the very basic like CPU usage and memory resources to the more complex such as when a user calls with an ambiguous description of their pain such as the Citrix server is slow, my applications are lagging, I can't get my work done, I can't log on, etc. What the user is describing really is their pain due to a lack of responsiveness that's affecting their productivity. The problem though might not be with the Citrix server itself. As the Citrix admin, you've got to identify and diagnose and resolve their pain as rapidly as you possibly can. You need to know what's causing the issue, is it the network, the application itself, the Citrix server, could the problem be with VMware, storage, and so forth. Now in the EG console on the left you can see that we're monitoring two different services within this infrastructure. One of them is doing well, the other is not. Infomart is a service delivered through Citrix to end users and it's got an issue. Now there's two ways in which we could use EG Enterprise to monitor the Citrix services that are being delivered through Infomart. We could use a synthetic approach and record a user opening the Citrix receiver, logging into Citrix, launching applications, performing some tasks, and closing the applications again. We could then replay these transactions over and over and observe the availability and response time for each transaction in the EG console. But for this demonstration, we're observing operations in real time. There's an agent on the web front end, and it's tracking and measuring the performance of HTTP requests to the server and the responses from the server. In this example, things are in a critical state. When users are accessing applications, they're seeing a severe disruption in the service. If this were a real scenario, your help desk and chat and phone queues, they'd be blowing up, right? They'd be overloaded with high volume of complaints and people saying, this doesn't work, I can't get into Citrix, I can't log on, my applications are slow, and so forth. So what we need to do is answer the question that we asked earlier is the problem with the network, the database, the application itself, the Citrix server, the VMware ESX host, or maybe storage. So by clicking on the transactions we can drill down and zoom in on the services. What we see after clicking on the transaction is a service topology. It shows us the different tiers that are involved in supporting the service and the interdependencies between them from end to end. Now, EG Enterprise patented technology correlates all of the alerts from every tier. In this example, both agent and agentless monitors are reporting metrics back from the different tiers. As we said earlier, those that are green are working well, and any tier that is yellow, orange, or red is either in a minor, major, or critical state. In this scenario, both the web server and the ZenApp server are experiencing issues and affecting productivity but the color code indicates that the ZenApp problem is much more severe, so let's click on that and see what the problem is. Because EG Enterprise uses patented virtualization aware technology, it is automatically discovered that ZenApp is running on a virtual machine which is hosted on an ESX server, and there's a web server and a Citrix zone data collector running on the same ESX host. We already know there's a major issue with the ZenApp server, but the ESX server is really in a critical state, as indicated in red. 
And what this means is that's what's disrupting the service that's being delivered to the users and why they're complaining. So let's click on that, drill down some more, and figure out what's going on. EG Enterprise uses a layered model to depict each of the elements that make up the service instead of presenting you with hundreds of metrics and measurements to navigate through. This reduces complexity and time to resolution for the administrator by making it easy to identify and resolve issues that are affecting user productivity. Now, this particular layered model is for the VMware ESX server. There's similar models for all other tiers of the infrastructure. From the color codes, you can see that the operating system is having an issue. The next layer up is a network layer. There's a tick mark that indicates that the server is connected to the network and it's responding. The virtual network layer checks the switches and the virtual network interfaces. So moving further up, we see that the virtual machine layer has a problem. EG Enterprise has correlated the state of the layers, making it easy for the administrator to see that the problem is in the hypervisor, and that's what's affecting the virtual machines and therefore hurting the user experience. When you click on the operating system layer, down below you see that there's different tests mapped to the layer. As you scroll on further, you can see that the monitoring system is tracking various key metrics, so data stores, LUNs, memory usage, processor utilization, and so forth. In this case, the monitoring software is reporting a critical alert in the ESX server system console, and that console is a bootstrap operating system of VMware ESX. It's not supposed to be taking up all these resources. In the measurements panel on the right, you can see that there's measurements pertaining to the console OS. You can see from the color codes that the problem measurement is the virtual CPU usage of the service console. Normally the console OS should be taking less than 2% of the CPU allocated to it. Right now it seems to be taking up 100% of the CPU resources, which is highly unusual. What this means is the other VMs are not getting sufficient resources, and that's why users are seeing errors when they log into Citrix and started trying to access their applications. Now we know to call the VMware ESX admin. However, we still need to know what to tell him, right? We can help him by looking at the root cause before initiating a conference call. Uh, that could help resolve everything a lot faster. So let's go take a look at what's causing the issue. By navigating to the magnifying glass icon, we can see and diagnose the problem very easily. Uh, there is a top CPU that's consuming processes because there's a Samba backup job that's running inside the ESX console. What's happened here is the ESX admin is backing up the VMs, but because the backup job is running in the middle of the day, it's disrupting the Citrix service and affecting user productivity. EG Enterprise Universal Insight provides visibility across all domains and correlates all of the interdependencies of the Citrix environment, including the related applications, database server, storage, networking hardware, and in this case, its patented virtualization aware technology was key because it provided insight into the hypervisor layer so it could identify root cause. So when a user calls and says Citrix is slow or Citrix is not working, you can quickly drill down to the exact root cause of the problem quickly, easily, and restore maximum productivity.